Okay, y'all, here's the latest. Cut the key on. I know it looks kind of dirty here. Doesn't even do the diagnostic check. Gets nothing. But it will crank. It just won't start. It should have fuel. It should have plenty of fuel. Now, first thing you will want to do is check these fuses back here for the ECM. And I already checked them one time, but I'm gonna look at them again, just to make sure I didn't overlook it. I know sometimes I might move a little fast. And the mechanic said it was a fuse up there in the box, but I didn't see a fuse up there. I'm sure it's one somewhere. I don't see a label. I don't see my wire that has a fuse in it, but I tell you what, this ends up being an ECM. I've been sitting here all week. I left to pick up one load. Load was just like 30 miles because it's the only thing that paid anything. And then they called me and canceled the load when I was 10 miles away. Only gave me a hundred dollar truck order not used. So I've been sitting all week. I haven't taken one load since I came off vacation. So guess what? If, if this is not an easy fix, because I've already been playing with the idea, I might just turn in the keys. <laughs> turn in the keys to my company, which is my company, and tell them to keep it. <laughs> I might tell me to keep the keys. Yo, yo, keep this. I'm done. That's what I might do. I'll, I'll keep you updated. And I'm going, I am going to go ahead and take these loose and clean it real good because I'm, assume, I'm assuming that this is the power to the ECM. And I'm going to try that. Mechanic's supposed to come tomorrow and take a look at it. Tomorrow's Sunday. And yeah. One thing, we'll see what happens. I remember though, is actually I was having a problem when I first came back. When the battery was dead and the truck would just crank. Oh, when I, when I put the battery in, the truck would just crank and crank and crank and sometimes it'll run and just shut off on its own. And did that several times. And then it started running and I just didn't have the problem anymore. Well, actually the fuel gauge was kind of low and I said, well, let me go put some fuel in it while it's running and maybe it won't shut off again. Maybe the gauge has gotten out of calibration and it's actually so low in fuel that I don't know. I don't know where the logic comes in, but <laughs> somehow it's picking up fuel for a little while and then it runs completely out and it stops. So just in case the fuel is lower than it's reading, I'll put some fuel in it. And actually, after I put fuel in it and I had it sitting there, I pulled up and when I came back out, it was it had stopped. But it started right back up and I didn't have another issue with it. So that actually was bizarre, but this is the first time something happened since then. And I guess it could be related and that could mean that there is a issue with the connection. Cause maybe something happened and jarred the wire. Bad sign, nothing on the dash. That was me. We'll see. Anybody got any ideas, let me know. You ever had this problem? Did you fix it? What was it? Come in, come on.
come back. By the way, we got a link on the description. Apply to get into the WhatsApp group. That's where I'm going to be uh, putting out different information that I'm not going to put out anywhere else. More contained, you know.